I wonder if a convicted felon's allowed to have a nail gun. Alrighty, top of the morning to you guys filming on a Sunday. What is going on, folks? We don't even really film on the weekends, but we got to today because we've got some important stuff taking place today, and I want to be able to share all of this with you. Also, it's not just me by my lonesome. We got this guy. Hey, everybody, and a beautiful Sunday morning it is. I hope all you guys are out there are having a great morning so far. I don't know what today is going to bring, but uh, trust me when I tell you it's going to be adventurous. Oh, I like that, Rabbit. Suspenseful. I like that. Okay. It is going to be quite adventurous. Shout out to Rabbit for joining me early on a Sunday morning. You know when, when you got issues and you need help, who do you call? You call your friends, and boy, they're there in the clutch. Peace. I told you anytime, time, Bob. Well, I appreciate it. Today is that time. Anytime. All right. So what we got going on today, folks, a little bit different. We got the trailer loaded up. Haven't seen this thing in a long time. Completely illegal. No tags except for my truck tag on it. Tell the police that. And we need this. We got to go pick up some fence because I had some fence fall down on Saturday night. I heard a loud bang. I thought it was Brian breaking into my house. I was ready. He said again. <laughs> So like I said, folks, Saturday I woke up to a loud bang. The fence fell down. The fence has been swaying back and forth in the wind. It's only been a matter of time since the fence was going to fall down or until the fence was going to fall down. Saturday night would be that time. I've torn down the fence. I also took a picture. Here's what I was looking at. But I want to show you what we got right now. And folks, feast your eyes on Class A contractor Joe. Boy, though, I look like I'm in the Amish land the way I put them damn 4x4s in the, in the ground right there. There's the old fence. Now, do, do, do those 4x4s those look like they're straight, right? Straight I, up and down? It, Joe, I'm going to be honest with you. It all depends on where you're standing at. There you go. <laughs> there you go. That's a good way to put it. So, folks, this is what I done did. I tore up all the old fence that was held. See, this is why it was swaying back and forth. It was held by... That's like styrofoam. That's that blow up foam when you don't feel like mixing up the, the quick creek. But Joe didn't want to take the cheap route or the easy route. Joe mixed up that quick creek. There it is right there. There's the four by four. There's the shims that are holding up them four by fours that are level. I leveled that money. I tied my string line to make sure all of that was gonna work out correctly. And we're gonna be getting us some new fence today and hopefully getting a chance to put that up. But it all depends upon if this quick creek is ready and it doesn't look like it is right now. You need about a couple more hours on this for sure. At maybe least. even at least another day, maybe. No, I mean, when did you set it? It's, it should be 24 hour quick creek though. Well, uh, it was set by probably like around 12 or one o'clock yesterday afternoon, but the ground was super wet, super duper. Well, you do know that when you make wet. quick creek, right? I mean, that's how wet it is. You, you do know that when you make quick creek, when you set any, anything like that, right? You allow for the wetness of the ground. You don't mix as much water in it because the ground, the moisture coming from the ground is gonna be the extra water that you need. You know, I almost just threw the quick creek right into the holes because they were filled up with water. That would have been the perfect thing to do. And, well, then, take, and then take something. And stir it and up. Just kind of poke it around, just poke it down just so it, you know, so it sets and settles. Well, I didn't do that, so of course, that. All right. So not only did I do that spot over there, look at the yard all rutted up from having to drive the truck back here. Folks, I also did that section of fence way over yonder. I don't feel like walking over there, so let me just zoom in. So there's three posts over there because that fence has all but fallen down. Now I'm going to be honest with you folks, I tied a string line from that first straight post to that last straight post. And that's how I was, you know, figuring where I was going to put my 4 by 4s But of course... When I had my 4x4s going in the ground, touching the string line, I looked down the string line and realized that my 4x4s, in order to touch the string line, had to be like this. I didn't like that. So I leveled them, and now they were like, and now they're level, except they're about a foot away from the string line. So what that's going to mean is that fence is going to have a gangsta lean or a gangsta little bow in it. Like this? But it's going to be level, though. 
Uh, it might not be straight, but it's gonna be level. Don't make no difference as long as it's level. Nobody in the backyard. Nobody that's not in this backyard can't see if it's straight. The neighbor gonna know. They're gonna be like, God bless it, man. Why didn't you call Ma? Why didn't you call Hercules fencing or something? Joe. Ladies and gentlemen, please allow me the opportunity to let everyone out here know the spine entrepreneurs next money-making adventure. Oh my God, here we go. Look at the size of this yard, would you? I mean, it's... Oh my God. I got a bigger yard than on that TV show, Yellowstone. I'm Yellow thinking. They don't have them around here, Joe. An outside go-kart track. Whoa, you can race go-karts all over your yard, man. You'd have every everybody in this, all your kids in this neighborhood and all their friends in other neighborhoods will be over here putting money in your pocket to drive the go-kart. Then what happens when somebody gets hurt? Hmm. What are you insured for that? That's what you got insurance for, Joe. You do get insurance. Ain't yeah, you? we tried that for the uh, moped business, and that wasn't going to work out. But, anyways, uh, good idea, though, Rabbit. Somebody's got to be able to get insurance because they have go kart tracks that are open to the public that people go to all the time. So it's not about not being able to get the insurance; it's about how much the insurance is going to cost. Scoured. Yeah. So, anyways, good idea, Rabbit. Hey, you get an A for effort with that idea. We got to get ready to roll, though. The fence is not the top priority first thing this morning. We've got more adventurous stuff going on. And what that is, is Rabbit and I, we're getting ready to head over to the flip house right now. That's the new name for uh, the other house. And we're getting ready to meet my homeboy, Connor, over there. Rabbit, have you ever met Connor? Connor? Yeah, you met him. McGregor? Uh, no, nah, not that Connor. Connor, beside Dave? Yeah. Many times. Well, he's not beside Dave no more. He bought his own place. Now he's got his yeah. Yeah, he's got his own house. He's uh he's part of the uh, after prison homeowners association. Wow, that's the shoes I'm trying to jump into one day. Well, it's definitely gonna happen. But we're getting ready to go meet Connor over at the flip house because you find out who your friends are when you need some help. And just like I got Rabbit over here to help me with this fence that fell down, Connor's over at the flip house to help me with this HVAC system. I don't know if I told y'all what happened with this HVAC system. Rabbit, did I tell you about the HVAC? Um, Many times. There seems to have been a, uh, a slight deep infiltration, <laughs> a slight and stolen a, property, and a, and a disappearance of such HVAC unit. Of said HVAC. Said funds were used to go smoke said crack, but neither here nor there. We're on our way over to the flip house right now. I mean, literally, we're walking to the truck to go. Gonna go meet Connor. Connor's bringing over a certified HVAC dude, and. He's going to help me get the HVAC system. I think it's like 1600 bucks, And he's also going to do the install. It's not going to be $800. It's going to be like one, two, three times that. But you know what? We're going to get the HVAC system. So let's go. Hello, Shannon. Rabbit just told me you said to say hello. So I'm saying hello to you. We need to get up with you, Shannon. We ain't seen you in a while. All right. Well, unfortunately, we're leaving from the flip house right now. And Rabbit... What'd you think about that? Uh, what did I think about the, uh, the gentleman that you were talking to? Well, he's an above board, really good guy. I think that he's a, I think that he's a pretty good dude. I think he's straight up by the book, you know. Um, I think that, uh, you know, he he might charge maybe a little more than what you're willing to pay. And there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all, except the fact that I'm not going to go for that. Um, but you can get a good sense of, you know, where somebody's price is at when they start telling you, you know, they got to go put a proposal. To, I, long story short, he was like, he wants to run it through his company and nah, nah, Jack, I ain't going for that. I'm going to find me somebody on Facebook Marketplace. Joe, you ain't learning no lessons. <laughs> well, the issue is this. Most, oh, and by the way, we're talking about a plumber. We're not even talking about HVAC. Uh, special shout out to Connor. Connor came and met me over at the house. Uh, there was supposed to be an HVAC guy that came and met us as well, but he didn't show up, so, you know, no biggie. Connor was very apologetic about that. I said, Connor, that ain't your fault, man, and thank you anyways for trying. But the plumber did show up with Connor in his company vehicle. A uh, young guy, very knowledgeable, very uh, serious, and very above board. I want somebody who's a little below board, but not so below board like Brian below board. I want somebody who's just going to play really fair. Uh, speaking of the devil, Brian... He did do a lot of the work already. And I don't need but just a little more plumbing work done. And also to have that plumbing checked and make sure that we ain't got no leaks. But 
I don't feel like I'm gonna get a good price from this guy, but you never know. You can't judge a book by its cover. You never know. So maybe he comes back and tells me, you know, he'll do all the plumbing work for 300 bucks and we can go with that, but we'll have to wait and see. Regardless, I got dog dookie on my shoe. It smells like dog dookie up in here. I thought it was you. Not today. I mean, you know, maybe, maybe I stepped in some dog dookie too, Joe. I'm not sure, but I don't think I did, but I definitely smell dog shit. I smelled that when we were getting that quote on the plumbing. <laughs> I smell bullshit, dude. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Good guy, though. Okay. All right. So we got an air compressor rolling around back there, probably getting thrashed. Can't have that happening because we got to go try to put up some fencing, and we don't even know if the concrete's all the way cured yet. But regardless, we got the first thing out of the way. Connor asked. He was like, hey, I thought we were going to do some video. Uh, but Connor... I'm gonna get with him at a future date for the video, hopefully this upcoming week. He's helping me out in a major way, trying to line me up with contractors and tradespeople and also the HVAC. But I just didn't feel comfortable filming in front of uh, the serious dude who was talking to me about the plumbing. Regardless, we got a very serious thing that we're getting ready to go do right now, and that is Hang some pets. And I'm going to tell you something about that, Joe. No matter what happens, no matter what this fence looks like when we get finished with it, just remember this, Joe. Everything that you do in the construction industry these days is a learning experience. Oh, Lord. So when we get that fence up and it looks like um, it was put up by the corner winos and some of their buddies and, you know, don't worry about it, man, because uh, worse comes to worse, man. We can just throw a bunch of paint up there on it and cover it up, and, you know, it won't look so bad. Lord, okay, anyways, that fence got to come out looking good. <laughs> hey, I just realized I got to set, I need to jump out and grab them nails off the uh, tail, off the back of the bed. They're on my side. <laughs> Easy, killer, we're still rolling. I ain't going nowhere. Hey, grab a couple bundles of them shingles right there, too. Well, hold on, man. Whoa, <laughs> hell no. <laughs> they ain't fall off, did they? How many racks did you lose? I had two up there. How many's there? One. Uh, well, somebody's gonna get a flat tire. Oh. The other one that fell inside just brought Oh, it was in the truck bed? It's in the truck bed. Good deal. Alright, folks, let's go do some fence work. No shingles. No Come shingles. Up. Mom, no hands. Alrighty. Alrighty. Lord. So it's Rabbit and I, and we're getting ready to go pick up fence pieces. We've got the trailer on the back of the truck. And hopefully the trailer's gonna be okay. We haven't drove with the, hold on to that real quick, Ryan. let me put my seatbelt on, safety first. Most definitely. We haven't rode with the trailer in a long, long time. It's been sitting in the backyard, getting rained on and dry rotted and some more stuff. But we're getting on the interstate immediately with the trailer, so no better test for this thing than, than the interstate. But I wanna say I greatly appreciate Rabbit and your help today. Well, um, that's not a problem, Joe. As I told you before, my brother, anytime I'm available and you need help, I got you. Well, thank you. It means a lot to have you today, and uh, and also get this fence prepared. I want to also give a real special shout out to Connor. Connor has been bending over backwards trying to help me find HVAC, plumbers, all sorts of stuff, and so has Rabbit. Rabbit's been trying to help me with electrical work and everything like that, folks. We're gonna get the house back on track and that's where we're at but i'm gonna stop filming right now because i gotta concentrate on this trailer so uh y'all wish us luck let's go get some fence all right good deal we got the fence loaded up that was a hundred and i think 80 something dollars for three sections of fence six feet tall eight feet wide grab a hold down real quick and pressure treated I think it's got some paint on it or something, but. And two eight foot two by fours. And two eight foot. Pressure treated. Pressure treated two by fours. $184, somewhere around there. I was thinking to myself, damn, can you imagine if you tried to do a whole fence paying those prices? You're probably gonna spend a couple thousand dollars easily. 2500 2500 2500 Well, thank God we ain't doing a whole fence. We're only doing about six pieces total three pieces brand new three pieces 
recycled. I just spent 800 and something dollars on my truck to get repaired and it's still squeaking. But we're not gonna start this video off like that, folks. We're gonna start this video off on some positivity. Folks, it's time to get back on track and today that is exactly what we're doing. I'm on my way over to the house right now. I'm gonna be meeting with Dave with the dreads and also a plumber. Folks, I have had a lot of contractors meeting me over at the house or a lot of tradesmen meeting me over at the house as of late to give me quotes on work. HVAC and plumbing being the two biggest ones. And pretty much all of those quotes have been just a little bit too much. Actually, way more than what I've been trying to spend. Dave with the dreads, he knows electrical. And we've also got another plumber who's done a lot of work on one of the flip houses that Jellico has been working on coming over as well. Hopefully I'm gonna get some really fair pricing from the two of these guys for plumbing and electrical work. And it is my game plan that this week things start moving in the right direction and moving forward. It's been a long time since we've been able to do that. Not only am I getting some electrical and plumbing work done, hopefully, I'm also gonna be getting the HVAC system this week. And it's my hope that sooner than later, maybe even this week, we can get that installed. If we can get beyond the HVAC system, folks, we're gonna start moving forward real quick. We're definitely gonna do that. If we can get this electrical and plumbing work done, we're gonna be really looking good. Again, it's Monday morning. My truck's making all sorts of noise, which makes me wonder, did they even do the repairs that they said they did? I'm about to take this truck back in this week and find out why it's still making this noise. Hopefully we'll make it to, you know, getting the truck taken back in and not just breaking down on the side of the road. But for right now, we're on our way over to the house to meet with Lloyd Dave with the dreads and see what he's talking about. And also to meet a new plumber, potentially. Over at the house right now, waiting for Lloyd and this plumber guy to get over here, Lloyd, AKA Dave with the dreads. I've actually been over here for a couple of minutes. Uh, he called me, told me they were going to be about 15 minutes. And while I was waiting, I wanted to start looking in the bathroom. And I want to show you guys where I've been at. So I've been in the bathroom and on the floor. Yeah, I know the floor looks pretty horrible. But I've actually began to scrape this plaster. Where's my little scraping tool at? So it's one of the things that the plaster guys left which was this tool right here, just this little putty knife type of scraper. And I got down here and was just checking to see what would come up. And it all is pretty much coming up. There are, however, and I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, you can see it. So there's like some scratches in this. Now, I'm not sure if those are going to come all the way up but I wouldn't mind getting all the plaster scraped off these floors and then trying to clean them up as much as I possibly can and then covering them up. These things need to be covered. We cannot be messing these floors up any more than they already are. So I'm gonna work on continuing to scrape these up and get these cleaned up or scrape this plaster up and get these floors cleaned up while we wait on Dave with the dreads and the plumber to get here and see what they're talking about and see if we can actually get some work going this week. So let's start on these floors though. All right, so unfortunately I did not film with Lloyd over here, Dave with the dreads, but he's leaving right now. And Dave just came and looked at the electrical over here. And the crazy thing about this is I told him, I was like, look, most of the electrical is done. We just need to do a few extra things. And, you know, getting his opinion on the breaker box, he wants to basically start all over. And maybe not so much with this, but with, you know, the wiring, all the new wiring. Because he doesn't know what's ran to what. And he says, look, 
Uh, if things are, if breakers are tripping, that was one of the last thing Brian told me. That was why we were going to refuse that, replace, I said refuse, replace that breaker box. He says, if breakers are tripping, I need to get to the root of that. We are going to replace that breaker box. I got to go buy another breaker box because that was the one that got stolen. I call it a fuse box. So we got to buy a new one of those. Uh, Dave with the dreads gave me a quote which was pretty high, but you know, given the current state of affairs and the amount of work that's needed, you know, it makes a lot of sense having to start over. There's still a lot of work that needs to get done. You know, we got lines that need to get done, new lines that need to get run. We got to get this damn light switch out of the center of the ceiling that's basically just hanging here. And there's quite a bit of work to do. So even though the quote Lloyd gave me was high, he justified that quote saying, hey, look, it's going to be X amount of man hours at $35 an hour. I agreed with that. Oh, matter of fact, there goes Lloyd right there. So we can at least say goodbye to Lloyd. Hey, Lloyd. Yeah. Hey, bye. bye. I said we didn't get a chance to film with you, but we're going to catch you on Wednesday. Bye. Hell yeah. Thank you, man. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Jellica's out there, too. Cool deal. So Jellica's going to be staying around today and helping me out. Not only was Dave with the dreads here giving me the quote, helping out, uh, he's going to get to work on this starting on Wednesday. We agreed to the price. So he's going to start this on Wednesday. Not only was it Dave with the dreads, Angelico, there's also a new guy by the name of Larry who came over here who is a plumber. And we talked about uh, this right here, the tankless water heater, uh, which we need to get connections for. So uh, he came over, he gave me a quote for plumbing. That was a lot better than the last quote that I got, or at least the last guy that I met. I didn't really care for him too much. Uh, but he's going to run the cold water. He's going to run for the dishwasher. He's going to run up for the tankless right there. Finish that right there. Make sure all the tankless is connected. He's going to do the vanity, the toilet, the shower, which we're learning. There are some issues with the way that this was done. And uh, he gave me a very fair price as well. Him and Lloyd have been working together. I'm going to be utilizing both of those guys, plumbing and electrical. So we're still waiting on HVAC. That's going to take place tomorrow. I'll be going and buying the HVAC system. And on Wednesday, work is going to begin in here. At the, I think Wednesday is going to be the earliest. Work is going to begin in, here, begin in here getting back on track. Also, I want to just showcase... Like all of this stuff, like this is all plumbing stuff, right? And then we've got like just stuff laying all, all around. Like here's a bunch of electrical stuff. And actually this looks a lot better because Jellico has been helping to organize this. But when we came in here, like everything was just all over the place. So really, you know, when you go through a situation where you have a dude who's supposed to be your contractor and he just absolutely dirt bags you and then you gotta start all over it's not as easy as just hiring somebody else to start all over you gotta find out where exactly the work starts and stops at and that adds to the price of things so you know when i talk about all of the money that i lost dealing with brian you know it's a lot deeper than just the money that he took from the hvac and the money that i paid him well mostly it's from the money that i paid him for the work that was not completed but regardless, we're starting to get the house cleaned up. Jellico's actually helping me do that. He's going to help me with some other things as well today. And this week, this house is going to start coming together. Back like how it was at one point. Oh, we got some flex glue? What are we going to do with the flex glue, though? It's pretty crazy. So we're getting ready to leave from the house right now and special shout out to this guy right here. Jellico coming through in the clutch. So we got the box truck loaded up with some debris and some trash. jellico has been over here helping me get this place cleaned up, get some work done that we still needed to get done, which was trim work, uh, bathroom tiles cleaned up. Yeah. I, got to, I got to meet your guy, Larry. Yeah. Really cool with the plumbing. Yeah, he's the man. He's the man. Said he would do all the plumbing work for just 10 ramen noodles, so we couldn't beat that deal. <laughs> all right, but folks, here's what we got going on. Uh, all the trim is off in here, so we got the trim squared away. And we cleaned up in here quite a bit. And this room is cleaned up quite a bit. 
All the trim is taken off here. Cool deal. And everything's cleaned up. But the real creme de la creme is what Jellico did with these damn tiles. Boy, you brought this bathroom back. Jack. Wow. Make sure when they sand the ceiling that they cover the tile. How many uh, scratches did you see on the tile? None. Stop playing. <clears throat> There's so many scratches on that tile, but it is what it is. All right, we're going to button this place up. That's my new favorite thing to say, button it up. We're going to get out of here. We've got plumbing lined up. We've got electrical lined up. HVAC is going to be next. we got to take the tankless water heater with us because we got to go get the right connections. Jellico, what do you think they're going to say when we walk up in there with that tankless? <laughs> we better let them know that we've already bought that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, regardless, maybe we can try to Google that first. We got to go to Lowe's and get some materials, and then we got to go to my house and build a fence, load up some debris, go to the dump. Folks, it's a busy Monday. And thank you, Jellico, Yeehaw. for being along for the ride. Not a problem, man. Not a problem. Thank you. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's get her done. Get her done. Oh, hello. Felon Flippers is back, folks. And... And uh, tell you a funny little story real quick. The first thing that I went to nail over the weekend was one of these, and I hit my thumb immediately. Blood everywhere. Looked like, looked like I blew my brains out with the hammer, except it was my thumb. Let's go ahead and look over here what we got going on. Very special shout out to this guy, Jellico. What's up? Jellico got his pass load nail gun. It's almost like a little sawed off shotgun is what that thing sounds like. <laughs> and Jellico, how are we looking on level? Sure. Good. You say sure? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, great. Perfect. It's good. Yeah, it is perfect. It's good. Look, bubbles right there. Perfect. Well, it's off a little bit. So here's the deal. I hung a string line from there to that post over there that's no longer there in order to fix the fence to fill down. Boom, there's the old fence right there. I woke up Saturday morning to the fence all falling down. I thought somebody was breaking into the house. All I had was a hammer. Thank God it wasn't anybody. So these support uh one by twos or two by twos whatever these are uh these supports right here were my helper because i didn't have no help jellico wanted me to call him but i figured he would have been busy so i didn't call but not only were these my helpers to help make these level with the concrete uh they were also to keep these things set up straight while the concrete did its job now folks it's been two days and this concrete still isn't all the way, it's just not all the way done yet. But you know what? We ain't got no more time to be waiting. Uh, I know a lot of people say, Joe, you probably should just let that stuff set up. This ground is really wet. It's set up for two days. And I'm tired of chasing weenie dogs out there into the street. So that's just no fun. So we're going to go ahead and hang this fence up. Jellico gets to put his pass load gun to use. And we get to do some work. What do you think, Jellico? I did a pretty good job? Yeah. Well, wait till you see that section over there, because that's pretty bad. I'll tell you about that when we get over there. So what we got going on, we got eight foot sections of fence. We got 24 feet of fence, and we've got a 19 foot span to, to span. We're going to have to cut some of this fence and piece it in. So you can buy this prefab fence from either Home Depot or Lowe's. Uh, this is weather treated, pressure treated. And this is $54 an eight foot span. All right, Jellico, we want to make sure, I don't know if level is going to be as important as making sure where we land on that post. So we want to be halfway on that post. So. Oh, oh. give me uh, eight and a half. Oh, great. There. Good. Oh, damn. Dog can fit through here, man. Huh? Wiener dog can fit through here. Yeah, they can. All right, we need to go a little bit closer over there. So, I hate the fact that what we're going to do is really be off. I think they can fit through just about any gas you put over here, man. Give me, uh, give me two inches. Good. That's money. Let me look at it back here. 
This was not necessarily the route that I wanted to go with this, but unfortunately, it's what we got to do. And that is making this shim. Is that good right there? You don't shoot yourself, man. Is that it? Good. These are three inch. Ah, uh, whatever you got. Is it two and a, uh, what you count? It don't matter, it's in there. I wonder if a convicted felon's allowed to have a nail gun. All right, we're gonna cut this one. Let's see where we land, because we want to butt that all the way up there. Lift. That's money. So we need to cut right there. Well, I tell you what, boy, so it looks like we know what we're doing. <laughs> okay, we're trying to put too many uh, in one spot, it'll split the wood. Ain't nothing like putting up a fence. This is fun. Alright. Alright, let's see. It looks straight. You guys let me know. So, definitely slant it down on the right side, but. I mean, shit, it looks like the same as next fence. Looks like four different colors. Man, I'm gonna tell you right now, that's a good looking fence right there. Nail that shit up and call it a day. That there, that's how you put a fence. Woo! Feels good. All right, don't check that one, Bob. Anybody try to buy them, be like, oh shit, they got a brand new fence. Damn, who did they fence though? That shit is super crooked. <laughs> so here's the issue, right? I tied me a string from that post to that post. I had it level. And I started getting my four by fours up to the string. But what I realized was when I went back and I was looking down the sight line, my four by fours had to lean like this to touch the line. I didn't like that. So I leveled the four by fours instead. It was gonna be a damned if I do, damned if I don't type of a thing. Had I left it the way it was, yes, the fence would have been straight, however, it'd been leaning, pretty much like it's leaning right now. We're gonna keep using the same old fence. It's probably gonna shatter when we hit it with the nail gun. It's pretty dry rotted. So it's either keep it level but let it lean, or keep it level and let it gangster lean with this bow that's about to be in this fence. So we're gonna keep all this and we're just gonna pull it up and hit it. Alright, hold on. Is it your fence technically? Well, one thing I learned from Googling <laughs> who's responsible for fixing the fence, if the posts are on your side, damn it, you're responsible for it. Really? I don't know. I made that up. Oh yeah, Jellico. Oh yeah. Watch it, Cody. Just shooting. Is that side in? Have you nailed that side? Have I nailed it? No. I don't got the nail gun. I got it. Oh my god, it's heavy. Yeah. Ah. A lot of weight we putting on this 4x4. Four four. Alright, you gonna hold everything? I'm gonna hit that first. Uh, I can't see, but uh, kick the bottom in with your foot. I got a hammer if you need it. Way in. Kick it in? Way in, bro. Dude, I don't know how that's gonna happen. There, there you go. go. Very good, Perfect. Young guy. Now you're touching. Is it touching everywhere? Yep. Bottom touching? Yeah. Yeah, put, make sure you push in hard when you put them in. Let's we'll start up here. Missed the second one. Ah. Missed the second one. 
All right, same thing. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I got you. Lift up with the bot. Yeah, I'm gonna lift up. Kick it in the bottom. Kick in the bottom. There we go. Good. I was worried about this thing being crooked. This whole fence is crooked. Good touching. Yeah. yeah. Touching. Yep. Lift it and put it in. Huh? Okay, hang on, take this off. Oh, hold on, hold on. Where you at? I don't know if we're gonna break it going right there. There you go. I feel like we're in prison working on the chain gang, boss. <laughs> like, how many more fences we putting up today, though? They having beans and rice for dinner tonight. You gonna eat your beans and rice? Now, if we're gonna do that, we might as well put one at the top, too, but good deal. I'm pulling at top or bottom? Put them, I mean. Or all three. All three. Coming through. Coming through hot. Folks, a job well done. It's been a crazy day trying to get the house back in order. I was supposed to tell you guys about the fact that we went to Lowe's. We spent like $200 on wiring and plumbing things. Things are going to start moving in the right direction, probably starting as early as Wednesday. Also got this fence put together. And a very special shout out to Jellico for helping with that. Thanks to Cody for helping us get this filmed. And folks, it's getting ready to start being a lot more kumbaya-esque around here. And what, what you got going on? Hey, yeah. clear! Ooh. Boy, you just hit a bald <laughs> eagle, Jellico. <laughs> damn. Folks, it's getting ready to get a lot more productive around here. And it's about damn time we start moving in the right direction. So I'm looking forward to doing that. 